Hey there! Today we're looking at not one, but two keyboards by Akko. These are the 3068 and 3084. We're reviewing them both at the same time as they're pretty much the same thing, main difference being the layout, which is slightly different. And to me, they're some of the best options right now for a 65% keyboard under 100 bucks. So let me show you why. So these keyboards come in really nice boxes. Both of my units have the Ocean Star theme, so it features shades of blue and white. And the box reflects that theme quite well. In it, you get the keyboard under a DOS cover. You also get replacement keycaps, whether you want accent white keycaps or not. And then you get a USB Type-C cable and a wire keycap spooler. Taking a look at the units, they both come with really high quality, thick plastic cases. I really like that color. Both have a USB Type-C port at the back. Always nice to see. It's also worth noting that the 3084's USB port is a bit more recessed, so it doesn't make a proper connection with all third-party USB-C cables. It works fine with the included one, though. The 3084 also has rounded edges on top, as well as LED light indicators, and flip-out feet under, while the smaller 3068 doesn't have any of that. Apart from that, both boards are the same, they use the same colored plastic for keycaps in the case, and both have white metal plates. The main difference between these two is the layout, where the 3084 has an additional row for function keys. It also has more room for a few navigation keys and has the tilde key at the usual spot, compared to the 3068. Both keyboards don't perfectly follow the NC standard, that is, the right bottom modifiers are one unit wide and the right shift key is only 1.75 units wide instead of 2.75. If you want to replace the keycaps, you'll also have to consider the navigation keys, where pretty much each of them have a different row profile, and that's not standard. So if I were to replace these, I'd get a set with the additional unconventional keys, as well as a few blanks to cover the navigation key area. But again, I don't think I'd want to replace these, as they're really nice. They're thick PBD keycaps with an OEM profile, Legends are printed on the side and although they're not double shot, they should last a long time as they're not subject to wear from fingers. I also happen to really like this theme, paired with the replacement white keys or even as is, I think it looks amazing, especially with that matching blue case and white plate. Now to the switches. These come with your standard Cherry MX switches in either reds or browns. And I went with browns on both units. Stabilizers are decent, definitely on the better end of the spectrum. They don't wobble much and they're pre-lubed. They look like the typical stabs you get on an Akko keyboard. And while they're great, the ones on the Durgod K320 or Akko Ducky Zero were a tad better. So typing on this keyboard feels great, keycaps have a nice satisfying surface and stabilizers are good. The layout is not too far from the conventional NC layout, so it's not too hard to get used to. The main sections where you might need to adapt is the right shift and modifiers, as well as the arrow keys being closer to the main section of the board. And that's pretty much the same challenge whether you go with the 3084 or 3068. Now, both keyboards aren't backlit, so you don't get any RGB animations or light effects. The LEDs on board for caps lock and the other various indicators are all white though, which looks great. In terms of programmability, you don't get much with these, but they come with Akko macro built-in, which means you can record macros on board on a separate profile and then bind them to specific keys. It's pretty basic, but will work on all computers you use the keyboard with. To do so, you hold function and left windows key to enter the macro layer. Then you hit function and escape to start recording. Then function plus the key you want to assign the macro to. So I'll go with page down in my case. 
Then you press the sequence you want and hit function plus the key for which the macro will be assigned to, to finish the sequence. And then function plus escape again to stop recording. Only issue is, I couldn't quit the second profile with function and windows anymore after that, but unplugging and replugging the keyboard worked. Oh well. Also, I haven't tried it on the 3068, but it's advertised the same way, so I guess it works. So to me, these are really nice keyboards, especially for the price. Currently, the smaller 3068 sells for just under 80 bucks, while the larger 3084 sells for a little over 80. At that price, there's not that many other interesting options on the market that offer the same build quality. One thing to note is that these two units are pretty basic in terms of features. They don't offer Bluetooth connectivity or LEDs, but the build quality is really great. The layouts are nice, and the included keycaps are pretty amazing for a pre-built keyboard. All of that with cherry switches and better than average stabilizers make these two keyboards really nice pickups. And if the lack of Bluetooth is a no-go, Hakko also has variants of these two keyboards with Bluetooth connectivity for not that much more. So this is it for today. I really like those keyboards. As usual, I'm quite satisfied with what Akko is making. But to me, with these two, what really makes them outstanding is that gorgeous Ocean Star theme. Let me know down below what you think about them. Are these some keyboards you would go for your own setup, or would the blue clash too much with your theme? As always, I'll have affiliate links in the description, so feel free to use them if you want to check out these keyboards and help the channel at the same time. So thank you for watching, make sure you leave a like if you did, and if you didn't, just let me know why down below. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe if you still haven't already, as I'll see you in the next video.